record a um, copy for someone. So if you are in the witness protection program, you know, let me know. Um, we can uh, <laughs> mute your video or <laughs> do something for you. Um, yeah. So, uh, so my name is Lamari, and I'm the community manager here at DIFF. I've been here since, um, let's see, since May. Actually, I came in. Um, so DIFF never really had a community manager. Um, as you may or may not know, DIFF grew very organically out of two work groups, um, discussions that came out of the Internet Identity Workshop. It grew very or organically as an open source community. And over the past year, it's the first time we've actually brought on full-time staff at DIFF. Uh, so there's myself. There's also Chris Kelly, who's our communications manager. Uh, you can catch him on uh, some of the calls, like the all hands calls. And then we have Paul uh, Grayan, who he's our outgoing uh, program manager. We we will be bringing on a new executive director very soon. So look for announcements on that coming your way. Um, so I don't originally come from the tech space. Um, so I am working more on the op side. Um, I come from the political space, but I did want to get into something that was impactful. And so I found myself here at DIFF and I'm learning all sorts of great things about decentralized identity here. Um, so what I like to do is just kind of at the beginning of these orientations, just go around the room. And um, if you can just give me a sense of what you're working on, uh, but also what brings you to DIFF? Is there something, in, is there a, a work item here that you have particularly been focused on? Are you not sure what you want to focus on? It would just be great to get a sense of where you guys are at, and then I can bring resources your way and guide you through the community. So um, if we want to just kind of go around the room, we can start with uh, Valerio. Do you want to start us off? <laughs> okay. Just a quick picture about me. I was a software architect for a consulting firm. And uh, since 2021, I work uh, as blockchain developer. And uh, recently, one of my clients uh, need uh, a KYC, uh, a decentralized KYC. And this is the reason why I near the um, decentralized uh, identity foundation to, to understand uh, how can I get uh, this kind of knowledge and apply it uh, to, to a client. Okay, excellent, thanks. Anybody else wanna, wanna pop in here? Yeah, I can go next. Uh, so Mike Gillen, I'm the co-founder and CTO of a company called BlockSec Technologies. Uh, BlockSec has actually been a, a collaborator with Diff for about two years. Our name's on the our name's on the front page, but we've never attended anything. Um, we ended up we ended up actually working with ArcBlock, which is uh, I think one of the organizations that's strongly involved in the foundation, and we've been uh, working under them, sort of hands off. But recently, I think we we are very interested in becoming more involved, uh, helping where we can, learning more about the standards, and trying to trying to get our platform, which is really uh, a did auth type of implementation, um, get it uh, more mature and make sure that we're following the the developments and all the standards. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. So uh, sorry. So my interests would be uh, strongly on the identity side. Uh, did auth uh, OIDC related uh, developments as well as the carry type of project. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lamari. Sure, thank you. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll jump in. So, Gary Tarrington. Um... So yes, I'm coming here to this maybe from a slightly different perspective. So my background, you know, also on the um, on the tech side, um, currently CTO at a startup. Um, but this is you know, my, my my interest here is slightly outside, more on, on on my consultancy side, which is how I've joined. But I spent so many years, you know, working in things like ad tech and retail and government sector. Um, one could say arguably, um, in some cases, you could say maybe abusing data. Uh, but in the last few years, I've been involved in more things, more on the consultancy side, where things like privacy and security be much more of a consideration. And I keep on hitting up against identity as one of the challenges. And, you know, that's proving to be difficult in many ways. And I came across this wonderful thing called, you know, um, decentralized identities. And I was kind of 
that looks like a solution to us, a lot of the pro problems I've been seeing. So for me, it's really more <clears throat> getting a, a much deeper understanding of how this whole thing works, getting more involved. I've been involved in some standards bodies in the past, and I find that a very sort of, you know, rewarding way of doing that. And, you know, hence I signed up. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. All right. I'll go next. I'll go next. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Carl. Yeah. So Carl Miller. Um, I'm here because uh, Mike Gillen told me to be here. Uh, so I still need to go through the registration process, but um, um, I'm with a, a, a startup uh, that uh, has a very interesting technology. Uh, we, we are an infrastructure platform that we believe that um, the centralized identity would, could sit, sit on very nicely. Uh, we're layer two technology, point to point, mesh architecture, fully encrypted from point to point, and uh, we're agnostic to any protocol that can be. So looking forward to start the, the conversation with you guys. Okay, excellent. And if you want, um, if you have any questions after this, Carl, since you know, you're know you new here mm -hmm. at DIFF, if you wanna drop your email or anything, you know, yep. feel free, yep. um, then I could follow up with you. Yeah, definitely um, will. Yeah, thank you. Um, and also for people who are just joining, welcome. We are just going around the room and getting a sense of, you know, you, what company you're with, and also what brings you to DIFF. Um, if it's a particular work item, if you're just looking for information, if you're completely lost, you know, all fair answers, um, let me know, and then I can point you in the right direction. Um, so anybody else want to go next? I can go next. Uh, my name is Ilya. Um, my background is uh, marketing uh, in e-commerce and um, 20 years of marketing, eight, eight years e-commerce. And um, I'm developing a startup and decentralized ID. So it's a ID wallet for one-click checkout and check-in in online travel. And um, therefore, you know, I'm, I'm very interested in what you're doing and really want to um, uh, add some, you know, my value to developing this ecosystem of uh, decentralized ID as much as I can. So I really want to contribute. So not just getting information, but also sharing whatever I learned through my process of developing a startup. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome. Good to see you. I know I saw you on LinkedIn, so I'm glad you're able to make it. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we have a few other people. Anybody else want to want to share a little bit about um, where you're coming from and what brings you to DIFF? Not mandatory, but if you'd like to, it's always helps because then I get a sense of also where what direction I can send you in. Yeah, I can go. Hey, everyone. I'm Cynthia. I'm the co-founder and CEO of a company called D-Travel. We're a Web3 vacation rental ecosystem, and we're very focused on building tools for vacation rental hosts to be able to basically get control and ownership back from the online travel agencies and large platforms by booking directly with hosts and guests and then saving them money in the process. The reason I was really interested in DIFF is that um, Doug Rice actually recommended that I join, and I was really excited because one of the other projects that we're working on is what we call an NFT travel profile or passport. And that one is going to be, um, somebody can basically create a passport and then collect stamps based on their travel. So we'll work with different travel partners. And as you can imagine, decentralized identity is a very big part of that. And so I've been looking into different solutions. And then also in talking <coughs> to Doug, he mentioned that you guys are working on basically um, building out standards for a hospitality identity. So I was really interested in how we can incorporate that into our product, especially as we're gonna be working with travel partners. So this is gonna be, I think the first taste that somebody in the web two travel space could potentially have with the web three um, identity. So yeah, I was just wanting to be part of this group in shaping and then also seeing how I can take what we're discussing in diff into the product that we're building. Awesome, excellent. And welcome, glad you're able to make it. All right, was there anybody else? 
Um, yes, well, do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you great. Yes, my name is Adama. I'm from Paris, France. Uh, sorry with my uh, French and English. My English is not uh, very, very, uh, very, very fluent. So um, I have I have been working in uh, in I am subject and I mean identity and access management since uh, 2014, and I have created my society uh, called Cyber Security Team in uh, in Paris, France, and I have worked with uh, with uh, with banks like uh, uh, Société Générale, uh, BNP. Uh, or, or L'Oréal Group, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, I worked with uh, the, the 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 version of uh, EIM, I, if I can say it, uh, the old version, meaning uh, uh, granted identity, centralized it, and the enterprise granted, and uh, the enterprise uh, uh, have to 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 manage access. And uh, in my uh, in my company, we we work in this uh, in this kind of uh, of product, and uh, and also I, uh, we are trying to, to develop uh, in, in in France in Paris uh, a new vision of uh, decentralized identity, and that's why I I join uh, the foundation, and uh, and I hope uh, you can help uh, our company to 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 have more information to to be in the market and uh, and to share with with French market uh, the development of uh, of new uh, centralized identity decentralized sorry and that's all for me thank you awesome thank you so much for sharing it's great to have you here thank you yeah so unless anybody else wanted to say Hi. something. Can you guys hear me? Um, oh, yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. Awesome. Uh, thank you, guys. Um, my name is Dr. Srijan Kutikela. I'm an assistant professor at Texas A&M Commerce. And my interest in decentralized identity is to understand the potential applications with the privacy and confidentiality. And I have been researching various approaches to decentralized identity, uh, not just what the Identity Foundation does, but also a solid framework by Tim Berners-Lee, which uses more web ID-based decentralized identity. And there were several working group meetings I was unable to attend unless I became a member. So this was my prime motivation to join here. But it's really great to see all your use cases and learn from you guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Um, yes. So, um, yeah. So, unless um, anybody else, I think we have everybody. Well, we lost one person there. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. I, I have a short presentation I can share with you guys just as an overview of some things here at DIFF. And then I'm going to drop some resources into the chat because because I want to make sure that everybody um, knows where to start at DIFF. You know, if you have not started, apologies if any of this is a little bit um, redundant for you, but um, I will uh, hopefully give you guys a pretty good overview of um, of the community. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen. Okay, can you guys see that? Okay, full screen. Looks good. Okay. Okay. Um, so uh, over the past few months, um, since we brought in our full-time staff at DIFF, we have been working on um, a new DIFF strategy, updating our strategy, because it had been over a year since we've done that. So we had a series of discussions um, and we actually formed a, a new mission statement, which you'll see here, um, which is that DIFF exists to advance the interest of the DID community including performing research and development to advance pre-competitive technical foundations towards established interoperable global standards. So we are primarily an engineering community. Um, so the majority of the activity um, are people who are getting their hands on code. Uh, we have about seven work groups. I'll go more a little bit more in depth on that. Um, they are IPR protected. Um, and then we also have open groups as well. So these groups, you don't even have to be a DIFF member to come in and participate in those groups. Um, and, you know, all sorts of activity happens there as well. 
Um, just as an overview of what our groups are. Um, so our working groups on the left, we have ID and Discovery, did Auth, Claims and Credentials, DidCom, SideTree, uh, Secure Data Storage, and Wallet Security. So those are the IPR protected groups. I will provide you guys with the links if you Everyone who who has joined DIF uh, should have gotten you know an email with with information. You may have missed it. If you did, I'll provide you the link. You could just go straight there to the form and sign those agreements. Um, the only thing is that there is a separate agreement for um, uh, secure data storage because it is hosted at the W3C. Um, the open groups we have on the right, um, interoperability. I've been working very closely with them. They've had a lot of great speakers over the past few months. Um, actually, one of the things I think would be great, um, you know, for I just I like to throw things out there that I think maybe community members can help with is just getting some more of that content out. Uh, we we have so much happening at Diff. I, we may not have time to edit every single one. So help with that. We also have travel and hospitality, banking and finance product managers, APAC. We have a brand new Japan group that just came to us. They actually are an existing group in Japan that have their own Discord server and they migrated to Diff. Um, and then uh, the same thing with IoT, they were at Sovereign and they just migrated over uh, to Diff uh, and they are gonna be having their next meeting February 1st. Africa call, this is another one. If anybody was interested in like hopping in and helping to build that call, uh, we don't get enough people attending. But of course, there's a lot of tech in Africa, a lot of interest there in decentralized identity. So I like to put that on people's radars in case they are interested in, say, you know, doing something um, at DIP in addition to getting their hands on the code. So this is, um, a, people are, most people in this space are familiar with the four layers from trust over IP. Um, in discussions with our executive director, Reuven Heck, um, he went through a little bit of the history of how the idea of the identity stack actually came out of IIW discussions. Um, originally it had eight layers. I'm sorry, I can't tell you what every, <laughs> everything there originally was in all eight layers, uh, but we're very familiar with four. Um, I'm showing you three um, because uh, trust over IP, I mean, sorry, I'll back up a second. Just trust over IP were the ones that actually um, condense this into four layers. Um, and I'm showing you three layers because at DIFF, we don't work on applications. You know, we're not working on, um, say, you know, creating the software, we're creating specifications. Um, so I just show you how the various work groups do map onto um, this landscape. So um, if you think of a layer one as public utilities did resolution, um, if you wanna work on things at that layer, uh, best place to go would be the ID and discovery work group here at DIFF. Uh, we also have side tree and our applied cryptography work group as well. Uh, layer two did communication. Of course we have DIDCOM, which is a very active group. Uh, they do meet every every week on Monday. Um, and then we do um, have did auth, which a lot of work went into that at diff, but eventually went over to OIDC. Um, and then layer three, we have verifiable uh, verified credentials. I would say claims and credentials at diff, um, we probably have the most spin-off work items right now that are happening at claims and credentials. And then of course we have secure data storage. So anybody interested in decentralized web nodes, that work is being done in the secure data storage work group. Um, it's done in collaboration with the W3C and DIFF. The actual meetings are taking place at the, are being hosted at the W3C. Okay, and just a few community updates just to, to make people aware of maybe some of the work items that have come into more maturity. You may have heard that decentralized identifiers were approved as a W3C recommendation. Um, so it was uh, the DID work group at the W3C, which included mem many members of DIFF and Trust over IP. Um, but also here, the ID and Discovery work group um, 
made some very important uh, breakthroughs in the universal resolver, which makes it possible to resolve many DID methods. Um, and then also we are hosting the universal registrar, which is a diff community maintained tool to create, um, update and deactivate uh, decentralized identifiers. Um, and then in addition to, to that in-house, um, we do also approve specifications such as version two of DIDCOM actually over the past year uh, was approved in-house at DIFF and also version two of the present presentation exchange protocol. Um, and lastly, we have the BBS plus signatures, which is on a standards track at the CFRG. Um, we had um, DIFF members that actually presented at the IETF in um, July of last year. So that's also another development that we have ongoing here at DIFF. Okay, so resources to help you get started. So um, these are a few things that I just like to make sure that are just front and center for you as you're going through the your journey here at DIFF. Um, so I'm going to drop this in the chat. Um, this is how to join how to join any one of our work groups. So you can go in here and tick off all the boxes you want. Um, don't worry if you're not sure if you're going to participate in a given work group. Um, so I just dropped it in there um, because it's fine. <laughs> it's it's not a big deal. You can just you can go to all the work groups. You can go to one. Um, but it's nice to just know that you already signed the IPR agreement, so you don't have to worry uh, about that as you go and you navigate through the community. You can just hop into any of the um, work groups, work items, et cetera, and that's fine. Um, if you, if anyone here in particular is in, in is interested in the work being done in secure data storage, the the uh, decentralized web node work. Um, there's a separate uh, sign up here. So I'm dropping that link. Um, that would be the link if you do want to sign up for secure data storage. Um, another big question I get a lot for new members is how do I know when the meetings are, get, are taking place? Um, so as was mentioned, we do have a public calendar. Uh, you can also, I'll drop the link there. Uh, so that's our public shareable link to the DIFF calendar. Um, if you add that to your calendar, it will make it very busy. Um, there are lots and lots of, of um, groups that are meeting every single week, um, and you'll see all of them compiled there. And a lot of our people are in time zones where maybe they can't attend the, the work groups and the work meetings live so all of our work groups are recorded and we do have an archive which is available through the website but i'll just drop the link here um, if you want to just go straight to where we keep all the recordings uh they are compiled here um and it's um it's a great resource if you just want to over say there's a work item you, you like you just want to review the past few meetings, you know, just to get caught up to speed. So that's also very useful as well. Um, and then lastly, um, I would say when I, when I first came to DIFF, I, I reached out to a lot of people. I made myself available for lots of coffee breaks and I wanted to get feedback from people as to, hey, what, what's working at DIFF? What's not working at DIFF for you? And I think most people said, like, I have no idea how to get an overview of what's happening at DIFF because there's so much going on. Calendar not working? Calendar link, let me see here. Let me... Okay, I'm gonna have, I'll have to follow up with you on that. Um, it's working on my end. It is a, it is a Google calendar. Um, so I don't know if that's causing any issues there. The other way that you can actually access it, it should work. Um, although somebody was having trouble with it the other day is through our website. So it's actually identity.foundation. I'll paste it here. And if you go to the top right, you'll see the icon for the calendar. So you should be able to get to the calendar through there. 
So I hope that works for you. And if not, let me know. And then I can follow up with you after, after the meeting and make sure that, that, that works for you. Um, so, um, lastly, the overview, getting an overview at diff, we do have a diff blog. So the diff blog also includes a newsletter archive. And the, the point of the newsletter is keeping you updated every month. What's the progress that every work group has made. So that's a great way to get caught up to speed. And also we do have some content on there. We uh, started doing the um, spotlights, member spotlights for our associate members at DIFF and, um, and also just different things, announcements on wins in the community you'll find there on the blog as well. So I hope you all find that very helpful. Now, when a lot of people come into a community, I know the question is, what can I or can't I do? And sometimes just, I know for myself, I go in somewhere, I think there's like, I think I can't organize an event or I can't organize my own group within a given larger community. Well, we're one of those uh, communities where you can do that. So um, just a few ideas here that I like to, to throw out to people are, hey, maybe you go to a lot of conferences. Maybe you go to a lot of um, events and you want to represent DIFF at those events. That's something that you can do. We are happy to find you resources. We are happy to coach you through that process, uh, but that's an opportunity you have at DIFF. Um, we recently put out an interop survey as well, um, which we presented the we presented the results in the fall. But if anybody wants to contribute to that, you know we're we're still compiling that information there. Um, let's see, this should be a form that takes you to the interop survey. Um, so that is um, also. Another way you can contribute, you can create a special interest group. Um, we've been talking about um, diff grants uh, for writing of, of code. You can also put up to your hand to chair a work group. We had elections at the end of last year for interoperability um, open group. So we had two new chairs that came on, uh, people who just put their hand up and decided to run for those seats. And of course, if something's um, not going quick enough, it's going too slow, you can help drive it. You know, we are a volunteer community, so there's lots of opportunity. Okay, um, and definitely stay connected after this call. I am still available. I am here in order to guide all of you through the community. You have my email right here. Um, also, I want to encourage everyone to get on our all hands calls. The next one is Wednesday, February 1st, and it's a great overview. So Chris Kelly, our communications manager will be on, he'll update you on everything that's happening. And it's nice because it's more of a place for informal discussion outside of the work groups, outside of the, of the Slack channels. Uh, where you can just come and ask questions um, and get caught up to speed. So I want to um, encourage everyone to um, to participate there. And also, um, if you do want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me at any time, um, anything you want to chat about, I'm going to drop here my, uh, this is my Calendly link. If you want to follow up um, after this call, uh, feel free to reach out. Um, so that's what I have as an overview. Uh, one more question I have for everyone here is, is everyone who did sign up to become a member at DIFF, did you receive an invite to our Slack channel? Mm, no. Yes. No. Yeah. no. No? Okay. Let's see. So what I'll do is... Um, so I'll go ahead because I, you know, because I know everyone here came came to the event through the Eventbrite link, correct? Yeah. yeah. So I'll follow up. So I have your emails. So I'll follow up with invites to you, um, to everyone who signed up to be a DIFF member. Um, 
so that you can get on because the because the Slack channel it's pretty essential for the you know I think the the meteor discussions that are happening at Diff. We do have some good discussions happening in uh, Discord as well. That's heavily used by our Didcom user group. And I will share that with you because it is a it is a great place to be. It's also a place where we are hosting our open groups like the IoT, the Japan SIG, travel and hospitality. So this is the Discord link. And then I will have to follow up after the call with, with the Slack link for everyone else. Yeah. So I'll get that to you guys. So does anybody have any questions about anything I went through? Um, anything I may have missed? Um, I have a question about uh, the Slack. I, uh, I receive uh, the, the, the invite for, for the link for, with the with the Slack, but I, I only have two 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 channels, uh, one call is general and one call is recording. I don't know if uh, there is uh, other other channels in the in the Slack or or I need to 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 add it. How how it's work? Well, the channels should all be there. So what so I can I, do is I can yeah. send you um. I can resend you an invite and see if that works. Okay. for you to get in and see all the channels. And if that still doesn't work, just make sure to, to shoot me an email and let okay. me know, and then we can figure it out. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So just uh, just one other question, please. Um, do you have, I don't know, uh, one picture of, uh, of, uh, of people around the world joining the DIFF? When, why I ask this? Because uh, in, uh, in France, the, the subject uh, about uh, uh, decentralized identity is a uh, pretty new, and um, I don't know if there is a, a big uh, community of French people in uh, in the in the foundation. I don't know if um, if you have groups or depending the country or the or the or the site in the world we come from. I don't know if you have it. So, not off the top of my head, but I can talk to our communications manager who has a very good overview of the international communities i can ask him for you and see what kind of resources we have yeah. um because i'm sure there's a lot i have come across you know lots of people all throughout europe including france who are in the decentralized id space um but if they're but let me just take a look there might be something i'm missing and i can hook you in with um with resources there okay thank you welcome thank you all right any other um questions on anything okay looks like everyone's uh, ready to plan their weekend so um <laughs> i can give you back about 20 minutes of the hour um so i i want to thank everyone for dropping in um and uh we just want to make sure that diff is a welcoming place that people don't think like you're just kind of um dropping into a a google calendar onto a zoom meeting um and that you know no one's around um so always reach out uh to me chris or paul um if you have any questions um or any follow-up after this call all right awesome. this is very helpful right. yeah yeah thank you Laura. Thank, thank you, you very much, much. thank I you that. thanks bye all right thank thanks everybody thank you, guys thank you. Bye. Bye.